Well, if you text and drive, listen up. Indiana lawmakers are one step away from banning texting behind the wheel. The House and Senate passed separate bills this week, and now both chambers need the other's approval. Today, Indiana's Attorney General added momentum to the movement. News Channel 15's Aisha Husney caught up with Greg Zeller. So, Aisha, why is he backing this? Well, Mark, he says it's personal for him. He admits he'll occasionally have his BlackBerry in the car with him, and his own kids have to tell him, hey, Dad, put the phone down. It's a reality for a lot of us, but Zeller and a lot of lawmakers say it's a reality that's far too dangerous. This is a public safety issue. Today, Indiana's Attorney General Greg Zeller backed a statewide texting while driving ban again. He says 30 other states have similar laws and it's time for Indiana to get on board. The number of um, accidents involving texting is on the rise, so I think it's an appropriate response to that. Supporters of a ban say more than 5,000 highway deaths involve distracted driving each year. Of those, 30 to 39-year-olds were using cell phones the most. Texting while driving is already against the law for drivers under the age of 18, but some say it should include everyone. Children have been killed, grandchildren, uh, spouses, so it's just not an issue of teen drivers. Senator Travis Holdman wrote the Senate bill. Its opposers say texting is no different than playing with your GPS or the car radio, but Holdman says it's worse. Texting is considered to be a complex task because uh, you have to be thinking at the same time you're doing some manual uh, dexterity work uh, like none other. And if this ban passes, it'll, it'll mean you cannot text while behind the wheel, wheel of a moving vehicle. You will be able to text at the stoplight or the side of the road. And if you are caught while texting and driving, you're looking at a maximum $500 fine. A lot of money. Yeah, they mean business. Yeah, they do. All right. Sure. Thank you, Ash.